A coronary angiography, or cardiac catheterization, is an X-ray examination of the vessels and chambers of the heart, often done to identify any narrowed or clogged coronary arteries that are preventing blood from reaching the heart muscle. The study can also be used to measure the size and function of the chambers of the heart and the function of the heart valves. When you arrive at the hospital, an intravenous line will be started. You will be placed on a heart monitor and you may be given an oral or intravenous sedative to help you relax. Most coronary angiography procedures last between one and two hours. Before the procedure, you will be placed on a table equipped with a fluoroscope, an X-ray imaging device. During the procedure, the fluoroscope will move around your chest in all directions to record pictures of your heart and coronary arteries from multiple angles. Most cardiac catheterizations take place through the femoral artery in the groin, but can also be done through an artery in the arm. The doctor numbs the skin in your groin area and inserts a needle into your femoral artery. Once the needle is placed, a wire is passed through the needle and gently guided through the arterial system to the heart. The needle will be withdrawn and exchanged for a small flexible tube called a sheath that permits access to your femoral artery. Next, a soft, flexible catheter will be slipped over the wire through the sheath and threaded up to your heart. Your physician will watch the movement of the catheter on the fluoroscope. You may feel pressure as the wire and sheath are inserted, but you will not feel their movement inside your arteries. To evaluate the coronary arteries, your doctor will remove the guide wire, position the tip of the catheter just inside the arteries, one at a time, and inject a special dye. This dye allows the fluoroscope to take X-ray images, called angiograms, of the artery's interior. Any blockages will be clearly identified as the arteries fill with dye. You may feel flushed or slightly nauseated when the dye is injected. After sufficient images of both coronary arteries and their tributaries have been recorded, the catheter will be removed through the groin. Pressure must be applied over the femoral artery to prevent bleeding. You will then be taken to the recovery room for 30 to 60 minutes of observation, after which you will be required to lie on your back for several hours with a pressure bandage in place over your groin. You may either be discharged home on the same day or after an overnight stay in the hospital. Thank you.